Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over what high chair we went for uh, with our twins. So um, the boys are now seven months. I'm super excited that they are officially eating uh, baby food puree. So that meant that we needed to find a high chair. Um, it took me a long time to find a high chair actually. And part of that is because um, we converted our living room, dining room space into just a giant living room. So we don't have any uh, set table. So eventually we will be getting a dining room set. But until then, uh, we had to figure out what to do with the space to get two high chairs in it. So we went through several options. Um, but one of the things that I was struggling with was with how big high chairs are. Like they just take up a massive amount of space and we needed two. Um, this is not something the babies can share. Obviously we have to feed them at the same time. And so um, when I went out looking for high chairs originally, I was really shocked by how big the bases of the chairs were. Um, that being said, the chairs themselves were also very heavy. The trays are big. And so I just was struggling with like, where are we going to fit these two giant high chairs? And so on top of that, where are we going to store them um, that's out of the way? And how are we going to store them? Uh, we have a patio when we live in a very warm area, but it wouldn't be, um, I think, a good idea to keep them on the patio all the time. And so um, some of the options that I had looked into was to possibly get foldable high chairs. So we looked at some of the big uh, high chairs that convert from like a high chair to a booster seat to like a kid's chair, which I thought were really cool, but they were very big and bulky. We also looked at some of the foldable chairs. Uh, they were either on the very expensive, si expensive side or um, the reviews on them weren't great. Uh, I found one that kind of like collapsed on itself, but what, the only thing that I really didn't love about it was that every review was saying that as soon as the babies got really like uh, mobile and they were like kicking a lot that they were just like the the release was straight in front of the tray so the babies would like kick it and the tray would pop off and our babies are very like uh, they're just like very like bouncy I would say they're just like always kicking and moving and so um, I knew that wasn't going to work for us so how I found the chair that I ended up going with was earlier uh, when we were, maybe I was still pregnant, I think, I was at Ikea, and I'm not even joking, they have a $19 chair, and I'm pretty sure like the chair itself is $19, and then the tray is like another $5, and then the like seat cushion is $5. Um, but I kept thinking like, it's so small, and it seems like really compact, and like it comes apart pretty easily. But like, who buys this tiny little chair? Like I'd never seen anybody who had this chair. I saw everybody with like the big mega high chairs. But I also never saw anyone with two high chairs at the same time. So what's really funny was uh, a YouTuber that I follow who had a baby, I think two months before I did, or a month and a half, I saw they got the Ikea high chair and they did a whole video on like buying accessories for it and like um, another brand that creates like all these cute like things that you can do to make it, uh, I don't want to say fancier, but kind of like unique. Um, and it's kind of cool. And I was like, wow, like not only like that, it was really small in their kitchen and they have like a baby who's larger than our babies and she fit just fine. I guess I forget that like some of these high chairs like are huge compared to the baby. And these chairs are just smaller, but they allow enough room for the baby to grow quite a bit. Um, and then when I visited the Instagram page of the uh, company she was saying that she got all these accessories from, there were so many uh, people who sent photos to that company of their high chairs once they had used like all their cute um, like pillow covers and tray covers. There were so many people with multiples like we had. So there was like twin moms posting about how they decorated their two uh, high chairs. And there was even a quadruplet mom who had these chairs. And the one thing that they all said was that they come apart really nicely and stack. And I was just sold. Like, I was just like, honestly, that's what I need. I need something that's stackable, uh, lightweight, 
The other bonuses that I saw was that it was easy to clean, which I had noticed there weren't all these like crevices and seams and all that. Like it was just easy to wipe off, easy to unzip everything, throw it in the washer. Um, so I was completely sold after that. So we went and we purchased the um, Ikea high chair. I think it's called the antelope and please don't like crucify me if I uh, butchered that. But um, an antelope? I don't know. I'll put it below. I, I can't pronounce anything from Ikea. If you can, good for you. The Once you assemble it, it's really easy also to take apart if you needed to like break it down and take it with you someplace else like Matt's parents' house or um, to a friend's house where we were going to feed the babies. We could easily pop the legs off um, and pop the tray off and travel with those chairs and they don't take up a huge amount of space. Um, we ended up getting uh oh i we ended up getting the like one set of covers for the pillow um behind the boys and i'll probably order another one because they do get dirty and need to be washed pretty often so just out of necessity we'll probably get another set of the covers to help um keep those clean and i will end up getting the footrest because the babies are growing really fast and the footrest is adjustable. It just makes it more comfortable for them to have a place to rest their feet. Oh, they come with these cool, like the company that I'm talking about, I'll also link that below. But um, they they have these like tray, like silicone mats that just like peel up when you're done. The boys are so messy that when they eat, it doesn't just stay on like the center, it's all over the high chair. So I probably won't get those, but I think those are still a cute idea because it changes the color of the top of your tray. And I think for people whose babies aren't mashing uh, avocado into the harness, like our babies do, um, you could probably just peel the tray up and it would be pretty clean. So um, we did go with the cheaper IKEA version. Um, I have had it now for a month. The boys have been eating solid, uh, you know, foods. They're on uh, purees right now that we're making at home. And I actually may do a video on uh, making our own baby food because it's been really fun and I really wanna share that with you guys something that I was excited to try when we had the boys and um, I'm glad I did. I thought it was going to be a lot harder uh, than it really is and it's been fun to make the food and it's been fun to feed them the food. They are food enthusiasts already. We just snap them apart when the boys are done eating and clean them up quick. They uh, clean very easily. There's no place for food to hide and get stuck. The tray snaps off and is like on secure when it's on but it snaps off and you just wash it in the sink. It's not super big. The other thing I was worried about was how big the trays were on other um, chairs because uh, I wouldn't be able to fit them in our sink. Our sink is like a sink that has a divider in it, which um, I actually don't mind it. People hate that divider and I don't hate it. It's just that when you have big things to wash, it's not helpful. So the tray actually fits like in the one side of the sink. So it's really easy. And like I said, the um, seat covers zip off, throw them in the wash. They're super clean. Um, and they're not like, they don't stain very easily. So uh, if you guys are looking for a mega affordable um, high chair that is stackable, uh, easily washable, um, tray is very secure on it uh, and has cute accessories, maybe try the Ikea one. Something that I probably would have passed on and gone with uh, a much bigger high chair if I had not seen so many parents of multiples using them and loving them. So. Uh, you know, I just kind of probably should have started by asking someone who had twins or triplets or quadruplets what they do when they have more than one high chair. I just at the time was like, I don't know, like I didn't even think about that. And then it was like a, a no brainer. So even since we got those, so many other twin and triplet moms that I follow um, on blogs and other like YouTube channels, they also are using these high chairs and love them and rave about them. So. Um, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just uh, buy a couple extra uh, pillow covers to keep the seats a little cleaner. Um, but other than that, we're super happy with our purchase and the, all the other high chairs were between like 80 and 150 that we were looking at. And so for these to come in together under like basically the cheapest one of those is just mind boggling to me. And we're very happy with them. Like I said, stackable, transportable, easy to clean. Um, the trays are snug and you can accessorize them and make them your own. They're very plain, but with the different like pillow covers and tray covers and even like the little footrests, you can really make the high chair super sweet looking. Like it's just, they just look adorable. 
Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I will link all that stuff below, the place where you can buy accessories. I'll link the um, actual chair with the correct name and maybe someone can tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. And let me know, uh, what is the, your high chair of choice? Has anyone else used this Ikea high chair? How do you feel about this high chair? And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, I will probably do some other like twin necessity uh, reviews of some of the products we have. Um, that being said, because uh, I found them extremely helpful when I was searching for high chairs, car seats, cribs, all that stuff. So um, I may do a couple more review videos, but hope you guys are staying safe and happy. Um, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you want to see more of videos like this, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.